we just saw the vector getting resolved in a two dimension now now we are normally dealing with the space right so we won't have a two dimensional thing around us right so we will be dealing with even the vectors which are three dimensional right now these two are the same normally taken as the same so this is my x axis this is my y axis and then there is an axis that comes towards us that is the depth of it right so so you can you can assume that this becomes the corner of a room right and this becomes the floor right this is this is your your z axis so this becomes the corner of a room this becomes the floor this becomes the ceiling right it goes up fine <clears throat> okay now in this a point that uh, that that looks to be say somewhere somewhere here okay is not in the xy plane rather it is hanging somewhere in the space right and, and that you will understand only when you drop a 90 degree from this point. So if this point is kind of this, then you understand that the vector that it represents, right? The vector that it represents, let us say this is the vector that it represents, that is is not in the xy plane that means it is not if this is a room and this is the corner and this is the floor this is not confined to this wall xy right it is not on that wall rather it is somewhere coming towards you and 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 towards somewhere in the room right somewhere here <clears throat> get that now let us after after having dropped this let us try to try to draw lines parallel to the z axis so so here i draw a line that is that is parallel to the z axis and and similarly i do the same thing here so this is also parallel to the z axis here i draw a line that is parallel to the y axis here i do the same that is parallel to the hold on here here I take this and join it with this all the lines that I'm drawing are parallel either to the x y or z axis right understand so so again I draw a line here that is that is parallel to this okay and, and from somewhere here I take it you know no, that does not do so it is say somewhere here okay it goes somewhere here okay it it goes somewhere here it again goes somewhere here right so you see in effect what have I done I have enclosed this vector. Let, let, let me draw this vector by a different color altogether. So, so okay. So let the enclosures be of the same color. But, but this is my vector. Okay. This is my vector. Right. This is my vector. <coughs> Fine. Now I'll have to see what is it made up of okay and as we have been defining a unit vector in the direction of the positive direction of x axis as i cap and a unit direction in the positive direction of y axis as as j cap as j cap and a unit vector in the in the in the positive direction of the z axis it should be named as 
as it should be named as k cap no just the natural extension of i j and k x y z i j k they are all unit vectors <coughs> okay now this this that is enclosed in this cuboid let us try to resolve it in 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 three directions right so so in the direction of the the x axis i have a vector like that is that okay in the direction of y axis right in anything that is parallel to the y axis or on the y axis that is that is the direction of the y axis so this is this vector right and and and, and you understand now this does not look to be perpendicular to this but it is actually perpendicular understand that the, that that trouble is because we are trying to represent a 3d on a 2d fine so this is actually otherwise vertically coming towards you but if i show it to be that you lose the sense of a 3d understand so so this thing is like a room this is like the corner of a room right and and if you look at the room you will find three edges at any corner of the room you will find three edges originating and all these three edges are at 90 degrees right so 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 this is what is coming towards you and i i i when i come from here to here this is another vector now what do i have i have three vectors this is one of those vectors the, the the yellow one the orange one is another one and the blue one is another one okay what is peculiar about them is that wherever the first one ends the next one starts that means at the head of one of the vectors the tail of the other is located right so so at the head of the yellow one we have the tail of the orange one at the head of the orange one at the tail of the blue one okay and and the the blue one the at the head of the blue one it ends right now i have the red vector that starts from the tail of the first vector and connects to the head of the last vector by the law of addition of vectors that we have already seen this red vector should actually be the sum of the yellow orange and the blue vectors because that is how we that's how even in 2d we we define the addition right or you can say or you can say that that the the sum of of the yellow and the orange vector is is this magenta vector okay if you if you deal with only two and then the sum of the magenta and the blue is the red one do we understand if you want to be operating only on two vectors then you can say that sum of the yellow and the orange is the magenta which lies in the xy plane and then the sum of the magenta and the blue is the red okay which kind of is obliquely oriented with this this corner right we understand that or 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 this thing is actually valid for n number of vectors so you can do it with any number of vectors right so so i can also write it like this that if i have 10 vectors and i arrange them by shifting them parallel to themselves if i arrange them head to tail head to tail and you join the the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector you would have got the resultant of all those 10 vectors understand now we'll we'll do the same thing that we did with that we did with the 2d and what was that we measure this length 
we see that this vector is oriented in the positive direction of the x-axis. If this length is ax, this vector becomes a x i cap. Is it not? What is this vector? This orange vector, if this length is a y, then and, and it is it is oriented in the same direction as the positive direction of y axis, then it is a y into j cap. And this blue vector if this length is a z and and it is oriented in the positive direction of z axis then this vector is a z into k cap do you see that so the the vector a okay the vector a in 3d right can be said to be the sum of three vectors the first one is a x i cap right plus a y j cap plus plus a z k cap you see and again we say that the vector a has been resolved in three directions okay it has been resolved in three directions namely i j and k that means we have been able to represent the vector a in terms of three vectors aligned along the x axis y axis and z axis correct and this can be done with any vector in three dimension. Okay. So any vector in three dimension can be re this can be done with any vector in three dimension. So any vector in three dimension can be represented in terms of i cap, j cap, and k cap. Understand? Did we get that? Fine. 